y'all doing? Happy Sunday. Listen, y'all, before we get into this video, I would like to thank y'all for clicking on my video. Yes, y'all. For those of you who have not subscribed to my channel and those of you who are subscribed to my channel, I love y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Y'all, we almost at we almost at that 500 mark. We have 2,400 subscribers. I believe when I get to that 500 mark, that's halfway through. We almost at 3K. We can do this. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Because of y'all rocking with me and supporting me, I am now eligible to get paid on YouTube. My videos are now monetized. Y'all know what I'm saying? So if y'all could at least watch at least 30 seconds of my video, I mean, of the uh, ads that pop up, so your girl can get paid, okay? Y'all just, 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 just watch it like an ad or two, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't gotta watch all of them, because I know it's kind of a repetitive, aggravating thing, but that's that's how YouTubers get paid, y'all. But um, I thank y'all so much, y'all. When On my video, y'all was just commenting, telling me congratulations, thank y'all so much. I really, really do appreciate it, y'all. I've really been working towards this. I've been working hard. But, y'all, I just have some um, Salisbury steak, a little small little thing, some green string beans and some mashed potatoes. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I think my food is cold due to the fact that I was riding around. I was going to my spot where I could sit down and y'all could actually see the food like y'all could actually see it. But, y'all, it was a husky at the park. It was a husky, a dog. And, baby, I be trying not to be scared of them dogs. But I be scared of them dogs, baby. I was like, huh. So, y'all, we we got it. You got to get it like this. But y'all know. Y'all know. But let's get into this right here. I got my best friend on deck. So, I ain't really hungry. And, of course... I wrote down all the topics that was on my YouTube, so I'm finna pick one. And I think I know which one, what I'm about to pick. And while I'm digging into this, let me just say my grace. I'm gonna hold it up so y'all can see me eat the good food, okay? But let's say this grace. Amen. Y'all, it is early in the morning. Um, the weather been doing a kind of little up and battle thing. But let's, I'm going to try, I'm going to eat all my food. And I'm going to try to show y'all why I'm eating my food, okay? So y'all can see it. Because I know people like to see, like to watch you eat. But let's see, I feel like it's cold, y'all. I just feel like it's cold, so. Yeah. It's not cold. <laughs> And I ain't really hungry. I'm not even really hungry, y'all. So I might not. I don't know. I might eat a few. A few bites. But I'm not even hungry. I'm about to be hungry in like an hour or two. Because I drunk more coffee than anything. Coffee lovers. Coffee drinkers. You already know. Once you pick that coffee up and you go to drinking. You good for at least two hours, if not that longer than that, on food. Well, y'all, I haven't forgot about my uh, subscriber appreciation lunch, dinner. If you want to be invited, let your girl know. Keep commenting on my videos. You're going to be invited. And y'all you know what? I'm waiting because you know I can't have a subscriber um, appreciation without no wine. I ain't got no wine. And the way Christmas and everything set up, we gonna wait on the wine, y'all. I took my shoes off. I'm comfortable. I put gravy on my um on my this right there, and I wasted all over my shirt, y'all. All over my shirt. Let me try to get. I'm trying to get y'all something. Mm hmm. I don't really do string beans like that. But we don't do it. I said... Mm, I said I was going to eat for y'all. But... 
and I was gonna eat it all, but I ain't hungry today. So, probably just like later on in the week or for Christmas or something, probably eat out my food for y'all. Fix enough to eat all of it, but I'm not really hungry. I got my water. You know what, y'all? I'm going to say this, and then we're going to get into this topic. I'm gonna... Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because y'all know what? I'm learning it. I'm learning it. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, yes, yes. How y'all doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, y'all. Okay? If you have your Bible with you or whatever, it's Sunday. So why not? Okay, I'm going to need y'all to turn to Psalms 26. You know, it might be a little different. Depend, you know, but my Bible, this is my Bible, y'all, right here. This is what I got. And then my Bible is Psalms 26, verse 4. Verse 4, I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all ready? Here we go. I do not sit with men of falsehood, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I hate the assembly of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go around your altar, O Lord, proclaiming thanksgiving out loud and telling all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Do not sweep my soul away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands are evil devices, and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I shall walk in my integrity, redeem me, and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground, and the great assembly, I will bless the Lord. Amen. Y'all, for some reason, this, this chapter, this verse, it just sticks out to me because I feel like it just pertains to my everyday life. Like, it just, it just speaks. We all have, like, hypocrites in our... Just all, we all have people that, that, um, that verse, verse four through the end, we all have, I feel like we could just relate to that. So it's like, I gotta learn that. I gotta learn that. I would get out of the car. I don't know. I don't know, y'all, but the topic today is how have you, how have, wait, how you all been dealing with life in the pandemic and how has it affected me or the people around me? And this was given to me by Nisi Watkins. Shout out to you, boo. Shout out to you, Nisi. Okay. Okay, we finna get into it. Y'all ready? Hey, buckle up. Get in the car. You already know it's finna. Dang. Y'all don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know where I was going with that. But let's let's get let's get into it. All right. What it say? How you all been dealing with life in the pandemic? Okay, me. Life for me in this pandemic, I won't say that uh, it affected my job and stuff like that. Because before the pandemic like even started, corona and everything like that, I had, been, I had already quit Walmart. It started with, in January, y'all. And I quit, I quit Walmart in November. So I was already venturing off doing my little thing, trying to get money here and there, you know, just trying to pursue uh, me being an entrepreneur and do my own thing. So I was already doing that. So as far as in job wise, it have, it didn't really affect me. I would say like with doing deliveries and stuff like that, it kind of did because it's, it's like, um, when people get laid off and stuff like that, you know, as far as ordering food and people, you know, people don't want to really tip. They want to just try to get their food and they want it for as low as they can get it. Y'all know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, what else? As far as in the uh, Corona due to like people getting COVID and stuff like that, 
I haven't contacted anything or, you know, to my knowledge, came into contact with anybody that had COVID. And my family members, to my knowledge, no one in my family had got corona, got COVID. And um, by the grace of God, no one that I knew contacted, like, personally contacted, contacted corona and was, like, hospitalized. And, you know, I, I have seen uh COVID takes so many people lives and stuff like that my family hasn't been affected by it to my knowledge um so by the grace of God I'm thankful but what I can say is um like as far as in jobs yeah it's been like a up and down it's been a struggle because you know when corona started people started cutting people hours and laying people off so yeah, pretty much. Uh, I waited a little later on to start my YouTube channel during this pandemic. But um, I can say is for me and for those people out there um, during the pandemic, like with starting my uh, YouTube, which I was already in the game. You know what I'm saying? I was already in the game. But due to this uh, pandemic, like starting a YouTube channel was very essential. It was very like it was something that you should do. It's like a must. I just feel like if you don't if you um, if you thought about starting a YouTube channel and you um, you've been thinking about it, the best way and the best route to go is during this pandemic, because it's kind of like everybody is home bodied. You know, people not trying to really go out. You know, it's not really much to do. You be in a house. So a lot of people go towards YouTube for a lot of things. So why not start, you know, start your YouTube channel during this pandemic? And that's what I did. I And then I wasn't even thinking about starting my YouTube because of the pandemic. On, like, thinking about how much it could help me. I just was just like, things shifted in my life. And I was just like, you know what? I'm about to start it. But... That's how the pandemic shifted some things in my life. It kind of, you know, I feel like it kind of helped a lot of people. If the pandemic helped y'all, comment down below. Because I feel like we look at the bad and we don't look at the good. It's like, like us being human beings, we only focus on the now. Like we focus on like what's going wrong in our life right now what's not happening the way we, happening the way we want it to want it to go the, what we want it to do you know as far as in all that we focus on it now but we don't focus on like the future on how this now can mold our future y'all know what i'm saying because this pandemic it opened a lot of people's eyes like i ain't even grown like it's a lot of conspiracies and there's a lot of stuff going on. But I, due to the fact that a vaccine was created within a year, year time span, but other things take years. You know, people haven't even found the, a cure or a vaccine for HIV, which me personally, say what you want, feel how you want to feel. But me personally, I feel like, it has been a vaccine that could like that is created for HIV that can cure it and stuff like that. They just don't want to put us up on game. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta you kinda stay woke. But due to the fact that it's a va a vaccine within a year span for people, like that don't even make sense. I'ma need them to make that make sense. But I got off topic. I got off topic, y'all. Where I was at? <laughs> Where I was at, y'all? My hell. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. But oh yeah, okay. I think it affected it affected me in a good way because I opened and it should have affected you in a good way too. Not just the bad, but I feel like it opened my eyes to a lot of things, you know. A lot of things that you took for granted, you know, uh, kind of allowed you to like open your mind just a little bit more and just you know, just aside from you losing family members and you losing friends and loved ones and everything just going wrong in 2020, sit there and reflect and think about what went right in 2020. If you're still able to sit there and reflect and you still have your, your, your you in your right state of mind and, and you're able to thank for yourself 
and no one have to feed you through a feeding tube. I mean, you don't have to be fed through a feeding tube or no one have to feed you or be on by your um be be by your bedside. You know what I'm saying? You need to be grateful for those things that God has kept you through. If that's making sense, y'all. I'm always it's like I be having so much good stuff in my brain that me trying to talk about it and then it come out all crazy because i be i don't be trying to lose it y'all but um i'm gonna answer this too how i'm gonna continue to um deal with this pandemic i don't know how long it's gonna be they already got the vaccines out trying to get people to take these vaccines and stuff like that and you know what another thing the 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 people that create created the vaccine and stuff like that, the government and all that, they ain't gonna make us take the vaccine. Like the everyday, everyday people, like the people who we supposedly look up to, the things that we want to do in life, that's that's gonna allow us to take that vaccine. You know, that's gonna shift some things. You're gonna have to in, in order to board your flight to go see your family you're gonna have to take the vaccine if you want to go to a concert or your favorite rapper your favorite artist is coming to a city near you you're gonna have to make sure you have the vaccine all that kind of stuff the requirements is going to be need that vaccine is going to be needed to do anything and that's what's going to get your butt off your behind and make you take that vaccine not the government they ain't got to do nothing they got people in line to do that for them you know what I'm saying? Y'all catching what I'm throwing? But, um, yeah, so me moving forward, I'm just not going to... I'm working on my future self, basically, y'all. So, what I'm doing now, um, so if we, if another pandemic happened or something happened and things shift and take a turn for the worse, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. I haven't even been trying to depend nor focus on what the government has to offer for me because that is very much so dependent you know you can some people may may feel a little different but i just feel like if you if you focus on your own self and you focus on your household and what you got to do to make sure that this pandemic don't you you know just mess you up completely you'll be good like the government they promising so much stuff but in reality they don't really care y'all know what i'm saying and that's not i'm not saying that focus on me okay money wise and all that stuff because you can be the richest person in the world or you can be wealthy or you can you know what i'm saying and the pandemic can you can still take a turn for the worse for instance if if like like other people if your family if covid came and hit someone very truly important in your life and you don't know how to cope with it at all you don't know how to cope with it and lord forbid that your life takes a turn for the worse and you turn towards the wrong addiction or you turn towards the wrong thing you been on top of your game you may not be on top of your game anymore so that goes to show that that money that you talking about that money that you got it could be gone within the split of a second or blank of an eye y'all know what i'm saying it could disappear like quick saying so we're not going to say that we're going to you know we got money so we straight that's not it because money cannot buy happiness but what money can do is make sure you're straight, make sure you're okay, make sure you're not out on the streets. You know what I'm saying? If you feeling some type of way, your boyfriend, your girlfriend made you mad, that same money might be able to make you happy for the moment. But there's nothing more valuable and grateful than a person that can make you happy. You know what I'm saying? With you making you happy. So I'm not saying I got... No, the money, the money, the money. It's all about the money, the money. No. But in this world, to live and to survive, you need money. You know what I'm saying? To walk up to, towards somebody and to, you know, you, you know what they say, money talks. In other words, sometimes these companies talk about your credit score and all that, but money talks. Tell the truth, Shane the devil, money talks. And that's, that's, that's just it. It's sad, though. But money can't buy happiness. 
You know what I'm saying? You could be the happiest. You could be the, the uh, not the happiest, but you could be a person that's very much so wealthy, that's on top of their game, got all this money, this ching ching. But if you don't have nobody to share it with, you know, if you don't like, and I'm not saying like share it with, I'm saying like somebody that could be like truly there for you, can truly like support you and just really genuine love you and be there for you. If you don't have nobody to share your happiness with, then what is it for? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that, oh, spend your money and splurge on somebody else. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying go to the store, go buy whatever your heart desires, baby, and then come back. And, and then what you gonna do? What you gonna do? But y'all, y'all know what? Pretty much getting off topic, talk about some other stuff, but I'm finna do another video, but I'm probably finna go out for a little second or two. But y'all... Y'all let me know how the pandemic affected y'all. How, you know, how did it shift some things in your life? How, how did it work for you? And if so, what did God do? What did he do? What did he do, y'all? You, you still here, right? We, we still breathing. We all right. I promise you, we all right. But whether you know it or not, that corona, that, that stuff, is it, it, it's real. It's real, but you know, I ain't going to speak too much on it. I ain't going to go into depth, y'all. I ain't going to do it. I know I ain't eat much because I wasn't really hungry, y'all. I apologize in advance. But I hope by the next mukbang, I'll be able to come full force eating food. But, I mean, y'all hear that? Ain't nothing but a little cone in there. Which means I, I drunk all my coffee pretty much. But I ain't really do nothing to my hair or nothing like that. Have some makeup on the next video or something like that. I don't know. Don't quote me. But, y'all, I really do thank y'all and appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Y'all already know with God on our side, anything and everything is possible. The sky is the limit and the sky go beyond. Y'all know what I'm saying? The sky goes beyond. And if God gives you strength and allows you to wake up every day, that's another 24 hours. That's another reason to work your butt off that's another reason to expand your mind to grow with your creativity you know what i'm saying that's a day that you didn't have add it on you know so i feel like we should do something about it don't worry about what this person got going on don't worry about what the next person got going on we gonna strive and we gonna shoot for excellence for greatness y'all know we are on the road we i'm gonna just say we on the road to 5k we on the road to 5K, and it's, you know, it's bound to happen. But I thank y'all for rocking with me. We gonna stay blessed. Ooh, don't let nobody knock your shine. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Stay on your grind. On that note, it's your girl, Leah Love. It's been real, and I'm out.